Let's be honest, creating voiceovers in DaVinci Resolve used to be a little intimidating, a little bit scary, because you had to get in there and fair light, you had to patch the microphones, you had to arm tracks to record, you had to figure out where is it even saving it because you had no idea. It was a little bit scary and confusing, but not anymore. In DaVinci Resolve 20, they really simplified the process on how to create voiceovers, and they took all that scary stuff out, so even if you're a beginner or you've never created a voiceover before, now it's super simple to do it. And the best part is you don't even have to jump into Fairlight because if you're a little intimidated by Fairlight in general, you can do it right in the cut page and right in the edit page. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to create a voiceover using this new setup in DaVinci Resolve 20, and it's only gonna take a few clicks, no complicated setup, and you're gonna be good to go. At the end of this video, I'm gonna have some troubleshooting tips for you to help you with any problems that you might run into along the way. With that said, let's jump in Resolve and check it out. So the process of creating a voiceover actually starts when you create a new project for DaVinci Resolve, and that's because we are gonna select a folder where our voiceover will be saved once we go ahead and create it in Resolve. So you can see I've got my new project window open right here and I'm just going to go ahead and name my project and now the important part so that you know where DaVinci Resolve is going to save that file for you is right here media location so I'm going to go ahead and click change location and now I'm going to come and pick that top level folder of where I want all this stuff for my project to be put so that's going to include things like the voiceover so I am going to select my folder which is right here dr20 voiceover I'm going to select open so now that I selected where that project is gonna go, that is where your voiceover will be saved once we create it. But that's all you have to do to set that up is set your media location and then go ahead and hit create. So in DaVinci Resolve, I'm gonna show you how to do it in the edit page because I'm an edit page guy. I don't really use the cut page at all. Although there's some cool stuff in there, I don't really use it. So in the edit page, the first thing you need to do is create a timeline. Now, if you already have a timeline and you're adding in a voiceover, Perfectly fine, no problem there. But in this case, I'm starting from scratch to create a brand new voiceover. So all I'm gonna do is right click, timeline, create new timeline. I'm gonna name it voiceover. And I'm gonna use the project settings because my default project settings are what I always use. But you wanna make sure you've got your project settings set up for your specific project, your frame rate, your resolution, that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. So now I have two tracks. Now you can name the track if you want to, you don't have to. I'm gonna call this track audio track one voiceover but you don't have to name it if you don't want to. Now, in order to create our voiceover, right here in the edit page, we got this icon now in DaVinci Resolve 20, right here, voiceover. Super easy, just click it, and it's gonna bring up this window for us. And now we can see we've got a few different things going on here. We have a button which starts the recording. We have a meter that tells us where our microphone levels are, so I can bring this a little bit closer to myself. Can also adjust my gain, so if I cranked it all the way up, now it's too much. So you wanna kinda of be maybe in that minus 20 to minus 15 range or around minus 15. So if I keep turning this down, you know, my microphone has an input gain on it. So maybe right about there looks pretty good. Now, if I wanted to name the file that's gonna get recorded, that's where I would do it right here. So we're gonna call this VoiceOver Resolve 20. The next thing we can do is select our audio input. So if I click on this dropdown, these are the different inputs I have going to my computer. Now we don't have to patch anything or do anything like we used to. You just select the one that you want. So I could use my Evo 4, which is my audio interface, but I'm recording that up here on my boom mic for you guys right there. So I'm not gonna use that one. I have another microphone, the old Blue Yeti right here plugged into my computer via USB, and that's the microphone I wanna to use to record my audio. So I'm gonna make sure that I have Yeti stereo microphone selected. You're gonna select whatever microphone you have plugged into your computer, and it should just appear there and you should see your meters moving. Now the record track, in this case, I can use auto because I don't have anything else, but if I had multiple tracks, I can select what track I wanna to record to. For example, let me just add in an extra track here. So now if I come to record track, you can see I have the VO track that I already created and audio track too. So you select whatever you want or leave it on auto. I'm gonna select VO. Now to get started here, all you have to do is hit the record button. We're now officially recording a voiceover here in DaVinci Resolve with the Blue Yeti here. Blue Yeti. Love the Blue Yeti, it's a great microphone. You might notice you don't see any waveforms down here on this clip, but I assure you it is recording and we're gonna go ahead and stop that recording. Okay, and you can see that it actually did record, right? Here's what it sounds like. We're now officially recording a voiceover here in DaVinci Resolve with the blue. And there we go, it works out perfect. Now there are a few other options that I just wanna show you. You don't have to change them if you don't want to, but you can. In our record voiceover window here, if I click on these three dots, we've got input monitoring. monitoring. So, now so now if I, if I turn, turn that, that on, on, I don't know, I don't if, know you if you guys can, guys can hear it, can hear but, it but I got, got an echo, echo going, going on. on. So I'm gonna turn that off. That's just to be able to monitor yourself while you're recording your voiceover. We can enable a three second countdown. 
So if I enable that and then I want to record again, I'm going to hit the button. See, we've got three, two, one, action. We are recording a voiceover here on the Blue Yeti. And that's what that countdown is going to do. Literally give you a countdown to come in. So you can see it recorded there. We now have our second track. We've got the names on the track right here. Works out perfect. We can see what it is and which one's their name. They're also in our media pool over here now, which is great. So on these three little dots, we've got a few more options. We can mute the timeline while we're recording. So if you need to watch the visual, but you don't want to hear all the other stuff you got going on in your timeline, you could mute the timeline audio while you're recording, and then you won't hear all that timeline audio. It'll just mute it for you. You can do your recording, and then you're good to go. Then you can also select it as a stereo input by default. I believe it's recording mono. And the last option here under these three dots is hide the options, which is your file name, audio input, and record VO. If it's in the way, you don't want to see it, you can click hide options to bring it back. Just uncheck that hide options. And now you've created your voiceover. No patching, no arming tracks, none of that. You're good to go. Now, if you want to see where that file was saved, a couple ways you can find it in your media pool here. I'm actually going to actually close our record voice over here in your media pool. You can right click on any one of your recordings and you can say reveal in finder for me because I'm on a Mac or reveal in Explorer. I'm assuming it would say if you're uh, on a PC, you can say reveal there and then it'll show you exactly where it is. So if you set up that folder properly in the beginning, when we created our project, here's where mine is DR20 voiceover. And right here is my voiceover and it's got all of the audio files in here that we just recorded. So you can always go grab them, move them, do whatever you want with them. Real quick, just to show you, if you jump into the cut tab, you also have that same voiceover icon, which is right here. I'm gonna click on that. And now it looks a little bit different up here. It's got the cue record stop. It's got your monitoring where you can just turn it on and off. It's got your settings right here. If we click on this, you can see your different microphones, where you wanna record it to, uh, the monitoring, the countdowns, and the file location. So it just looks a little bit different, but it does the exact same thing. Like I said, I'm usually in the edit page, so that's where I would do it. Or I would just jump into Fairlight because I'm a Fairlight guy. But the edit page, it's super easy just to do it right there. But you can do it here in the cut page as well. So now let's get into a couple troubleshooting things just in case you run into any issues along the way. Let's say maybe you didn't select the right folder of where you want those voiceover recordings to be saved. How can we adjust that? It's pretty easy. In DaVinci Resolve, you come to your project settings. So the little cog uh, icon down here at the bottom right, or you go to file project settings. Now under master settings, if we scroll down and take a look in this working folder section, right here you have project media location. And that is going to be where you selected in the very beginning. So if you need to change it, you can always come over here, hit browse, go ahead, select a different file location. And then that will be where your voiceovers are saved. So if you accidentally pick the wrong folder, not a big deal. You can always come right here and change it. And then your voiceover will be saved in whatever location is listed right here, project media location. Once you change that location, just hit save. Now, if for some reason you don't see your microphone, it should just appear for you. But if it doesn't, you can double check by coming to DaVinci Resolve at the top then preferences, make sure you're on the system side, video and audio in slash out. And right here, you're going to have your input device. You can double check and make sure that your input device is the microphone that you want. But you should see all of these options right here in that list when you go to open up and record a voiceover right in either the edit page or the cut page. It should be right there. But if you don't, for some reason, you can come in here and set that input device. And then that's what should come up when you open the record voiceover window there. So that is creating a voiceover here in DaVinci Resolve 20. They made it super simple. You can do it even if you've never done a voiceover. You're brand new to Resolve. You can record a voiceover now, especially if you watch this video. You got it down. You should be able to do it with no problem. And if you wanted, you can always jump into Fairlight and do it the old school way because they didn't include that cool little new icon with the new way to set up your voiceover. They didn't include that in Fairlight, but if you're a Fairlight person, it only takes a few seconds anyway. If you have questions or you're having troubles with your voiceovers, be sure to let me know. Drop me a comment. And if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve beginner videos, you should probably watch this video up over here. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.